Good morning, everybody. It's Dr. Kemi Oluloy or Madam KOO. It is the 7th of June, 2020. I'm in Lagos, Nigeria, and I wanted to do a very quick video with regards to D. Banj, Dako Oye Banjo, the music artist. Now, most of you know that I haven't seen D. Banj for a long time. The last time I really spent time with him was when I interviewed him at the This Day Music Festival in 2006. He was an upcoming fast rising artist at the time and um, possibly at Derry. I saw Divanj at Derry's concert in 2013, Love Like a Movie. So that's been a long time, you know. I spoke to Divanj this morning about the rape case, you know, leveled against him because many of you don't know, I've been secretly investigating all these allegations when we have a time like this with a rape epidemic, or as Mr. Atiku says, rape pandemic, okay, because it's really around the world, but it's going on in Nigeria now as an epidemic, a 24-year-old raping an 85-year-old woman, a 60-year-old man raping a 7-year-old. Rape is serious. Sexual violence begins with sexual harassment. And that's what I'm talking about, the Davido case with me. When you start talking to a woman, calling them a shower, um, you know, harlot, all these things that IPOB boys says, it, it contributes to harassment when your boss can touch you in the office and you're so ashamed you can't tell your husband at home that my, my boss fondled my breast, all these things. We've seen what happened with Bill Cosby, Harvey Weinstein, and very powerful people in the entertainment industry in America. And that's what we have happening now in this period in the entertainment industry. Two of Davido's associates, Peruzzi, and I think one guy called um, Ichaba, or I don't know. I saw a name yesterday. It's sickening because even me as I'm sitting here, I was sexually molested at eight years old. You guys can see that interview Azuka's interview for my 55th birthday. And also I was stripped naked on a corridor during the Alima school riots, almost gang raped until one man just lifted me into his house. I was 13. So I understand the whole thing about stigma and coming out later, okay, years later. Some people in Cosby's case came out 40 years later. Auntie Sheita and Benjamin Esse, these two people are in this rape allegation or debank coming up with stories that don't add up. Now, many of you know that I investigated the Koza case with Busola Dakolo. There are a lot of people who think that that pastor used his power to cover up his alleged rape with Busola. And there are people like me who think it was all made up in a form of extortion that was backed up by her husband, Timmy Dakolo. I did my investigation. I followed this case day and night and brought up facts from interviews from different people, from old congregation members to new ones, to people that knew the pastor, everything. And I was waiting to interview the pastor and Busola's movement brought the pastor down so he couldn't preach for about a month or talk to anybody. I'm still gonna interview him. But at the end of the day, civil case was thrown out. The criminal case is coming up. Um, I'm going to update you on that. She has updated you, but I have something past hers. Nobody is stigmatizing rape victims. In a period like this, we have to be careful who is the real rapist and who is the real rape victim. What I have about Dibanj, Dakoye Banjo, suggests that he never raped that woman. I'm looking at these names. I don't see faces. Auntie Shaita might be a woman. I think is the alleged victim. And Benjamin Esse, um, is it Esse Benjamin? I don't know whether as a man or a woman, but these two people, okay, have concocted some kind of elaborate um, scheme, you know, to finish the bench. They really set him up. That's all it is. And, uh, you know, he... I read a lot of stuff. His lawyers wrote a letter. They're charging these people for criminal defamation. Do you remember what took me to prison? Criminal defamation is what Ibiomi filed. Okay, defamation is really a civil case, but criminal in Nigeria. But 
In my own case, it's different. They withdrew the case because they found out I didn't write the stuff they said I did. But what DeBange and his lawyers are doing are filing what needs to be filed. Because if you remember when I left prison, I said, I don't want them to remove criminal defamation from the Nigerian police you know, thing. Because there are some people who are intentionally and deliberately defaming people criminally. That's why I want that social media bill. Some people use the social media to commit atrocious acts. Demand is a musician. Okay, I learned that his um, album is coming out soon. And I know he's going to be 40. His 40th birthday is this year. I really feel for everybody doing the zero birthdays this year because of the pandemic. Um, the Whiskey is going to turn 30. Demand is going to turn 40. My son is going to turn 20. All these big parties that are supposed to be happening. My mom is going to turn 80. Everybody is going to turn something. These parties may never happen because of the 2020 pandemic. But his birthday is coming. Okay, that doesn't mean he can't celebrate it in his house and have it live online or something. But his album is also coming out. He's, he's been working on new music. And these are ways where these people want to, you know, tarnish him. I've really studied this. And yeah, let me tell you something. I haven't seen the band for a long time, okay? And he didn't give me money to do my video because this is what happens. Okay, I don't want anybody coming for me in my DM or anywhere telling me I'm a rape apologist. I'm an investigative journalist, okay? I'm a retired 30-year clinical ph pharmacist, okay, 31 self. And I, I know about wellness when it comes to that, health and wellness. And then I'm a PR specialist, okay? I graduated June of 1996, and that'll be, what, 24 years this month. So when you look at PR, when you look at journals, when you look at everything, you have to be very careful when you see somebody has raped you and you don't have concrete evidence to back you. People suffer stigma from rape. Okay, they may not come out till years later. But as women, we women have more sympathy given to us than men or other people. you got to understand one thing. She said something about a hotel. His manager took the keys. They came into the hotel. We have to think about consent. Did you follow an artist to a hotel? Okay. We know about groupies. Were you a groupie? Did you have consent? Did the artist give you money? Did you have sex with consent? And then you left. And nine years later, because you don't like him anymore, you now tell the world he raped you. These are things you look into. And I studied all this stuff all this weekend. To make it worse, oh, I woke up and I went to Instablog Niger that I haven't visited for like two days. And I saw a post from the actual hotel, Glee Hotel. The hotel was like, no, we don't condone rape. No rape happened here. I mean, well, you know the thing about hotels. A lot of people have sex with their friends, their boyfriends, their sugar daddy, their side chicks and all that. They don't go in the house. They go to a hotel. When they live in the hotel, half the time, not even half the time, 90% of the time, everybody looks at the receptionist. Here's the key. Thank you. Bye. The receptionist knows you went up there and had fun. Okay. You ordered food, drinks, you even had sex. But nobody complained about rape. Nobody called the police. I'm not saying that's what happened. I'm not saying she, he even had sex with her. But I'm saying that for a hotel to come out and write that, it shocked me. Okay, I've talked to the hotel. I've talked to DeBench this morning that I'm going to do this video on his case. I've talked to a lot of people that are that was friends and big people in the industry that he doesn't even know I've talked to. And I feel that he's a victim. He didn't rape that, you know, girl. He didn't. Mm -mm. And he's already making moves to file defamation on this person. And I really think this lady needs to come out and write a letter and apologize to DeBange before this really gets ugly. So this is what I wanted to say today. I want you to join me at 1 p.m. on Chief Superintendent Delacqua Badmas page on Instagram. Everybody must join us at 1 p.m. Mrs. Fayemi will be there. First Lady Fayemi, Kayade's um, wife, you know, the First Lady of Ekiti State. I grew up with Kayade, the governor. 
I want you guys to join me because BC does not condone crap when it comes to sexual violence with women and girls. So she's the guest, you know, chief superintendent, bad must. Okay, Dolakbo is the host. It's on her show. Let's chat at 1 p.m. Let's talk, okay, about this because Chief Superintendent Dolakwa Badmus is in charge of that, you know, um, sexual and domestic violence thing. And remember last year, every celebrity female that she tried to um, add into a WhatsApp group, everybody was removing themselves. This is what she was preparing for. So it's very important that we speak more about rape. If you feel that you've been violated sexually, you need to file with the police. You don't go on social media. This is the mistake Busola Dakolo did. You know, even though her case had a lot of discrepancies. You don't go on social media. You file a case with the police first. Then you can talk to the media. Everybody's talking to the media. You're talking to Y Niger. You're talking to Fon Punch. You're talking to Kemi Olunlaya. You're, you know, you got to file a case. Okay. The Perusi girl that I interviewed okay has her own case all right you got to let the police know before you come out on social media to cause sensation because social media is a place where people believe a lot of things and many things they believe in is lies so you got to know the facts okay for me my conclusion is that dibanja raped that woman and dibanja has been very um much on the activism side lately um because of what's going on around the world. And he's always been like that. Okay, he's always been like that, talking about, you know, different things going on around the, the world. He's a big artist, he's a big musician, he's globally known. And we need his voice. We need voices like that. We need voices like, look at Tiwa Savage's voices on many issues. That's how Deband is, that's how Two-Face, that's how um, Don Jazzy, you know, let me say our second generation artists, our first generations with the fella and all the older ones, but Dibanj, Two-Face, all these, you know, Idris, Abdul Karim, shout out by the way to him. You have to put your mouth out. We need your voices. And they're doing that. Okay, this is what I want people like Davido, Zalatan. Naira is even talking to be doing. Instead, Zalatan is telling Sahara reporters that he wished me death and can death by cancer and all my children would die because I simply wanted him to be careful with shagging wire, you know, but young artists are reckless. You need to get on the side of activism. Coronavirus is real. People out there saying coronavirus is not real. If somebody like the Aramali says it's real, you know, his voice is powerful. Educate people. Okay. Information, education, do that. All right. Because sexual harassment Sexual violence, they're all intertwined. And this is what I was talking about with Davido, okay? You don't tell a woman 55 years old to oil her pussy simply because she says you and your girlfriend broke up. It doesn't warrant that, okay? If you're a Davido fan, you're still there waiting. Hey, what did Davido do to this woman? Leave Davido alone. I get a lot of DMs, people cursing me and all that stuff. I'm hurt, okay? But please, don't sit down, okay? and make up stories about rape when it didn't happen. Don't have sex with people in hotels or in venues or anywhere and come out eight years later because you don't like that person again and call it rape. Have your concrete evidence and information. For the moment, these people were saying something about a hotel key, I didn't lodge in the hotel. His manager took the key. There were aspects of consent there. Ladies, if you have a question about rape, okay, if you want me to investigate a rape, okay, I'll do it. Okay, I'll put some time into, you know, I know I can't investigate everything, okay. I don't have funds to do it and I don't have the strength to do it. But it's not that I'm only doing people that are high profile, but a lot of high profile people have taken advantage of women. Okay, and we don't want it covered up because sometimes it stigmatizes the women themselves. But speak out now, speak out, go to the police. I wanna thank Nigerian Police Force for the poster they sent out. You can find it in Tija's page, Afro Dija. You can find it on my page, you can find it on a Savage page, the poster that says you should call 
called the fourth sexual unit. Okay? Good luck to everyone.